Hello, what I'm going to show you today at ABD Tools is the um, Posibyte system which goes with the Easy Tat Splitter. Now for those of you who don't know, we do um, a tool called the Easy Tat Splitter which enables you to undo uh, very tight tap heads if you're trying to change the washer or tap, do a tap repair for whatever reason you'll uh, turn the water off of course and then try and undo the head on the tap and find it super tight and then you'll put a spanner on it and pull the spanner and try and hold the spout and what can happen then is the, the uh, tap will spin in its hole and then you can cause uh, bring on unwanted problems namely the connection underneath you can disturb that and it will start leaking then you've got to fix that or on older sinks um, with the square holes and the tap is actually set inside putty if you turn the rotate the tap on that a little bit even half a millimetre left or right you'll split the sink that's the end of the sink it will finish you'll need, you'll need to get a new sink so the easy to tap splitter for those of you who haven't seen it I'll show you in a minute what happens you've got a spanner which goes 45 degrees onto the head nut you've got a spout sleeve here which goes over the spout of course and a pull bolt here so when you turn this nut with um, this spanner just turn that and it will pull and it will pull the spanner towards the spout with massive pressure and crack the head nut that's all you want you just need an eighth of a turn it works every time it's for single taps only um, it's very easy to use you get all fully instructions we do do tap handle pullers as well sorry that's the tap handle puller should you have any problems getting the actual handle off because they can be stuck to and we do a tap handle pusher we've got other videos uh, showing that but what I'm going to uh, concentrate on today is the what we call the posi bite now what that is is some of you um, will have used all kinds of tools to um, grab the soft brass nut on here and it could have slipped and what can usually happen it will get damaged and you take the edges off and it'll be round and you've got nothing to, to grab hold of then and it can actually end up like this really sort of chewed and gnarled up you could never get a spanner on there because there's nothing left. So in the in the kit in the kit the standard kits you get four hex insert adapters which fit four different types of um, hex nuts on there. You get 17 mil, 17 and a half, 19 and 22 mil. We also do another four extra on top of that, which are 20.5, 23, 24, and 25 mil, which usually are okay for like bigger bath taps. Um, so what we're going to concentrate on today is the posi bite is to deal with a head which has been chewed like that so I'll just show you what the kits like that's the actual kit label and inside you get all the components to do the job so you see that you get the spout sleeve just in spanner eye bolt pull pull spanner clamp some washers hex inserts and on this kit you get the posi bite addition and the dog bits here which I'm going to show you what they are now full instructions and it all comes in a kit that's called the posi bite kit we do do this kit without the posi bite called the easy tap splitter so you don't get that inside it you get the um, the M4 uh, allen key as well to adjust this so I'm going to concentrate on this today anyway so obviously the taps off so I'm going to sh try and show you close up. It's a bit difficult to do this, but I'll do my best. Uh, that's the posi bite. That's the posi bite there. It's got um, a sharpened, pointed screw inside there, and then we have this part called very tiny, called the dog bit. It's 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 toothed on the outside, if you can see, on one side. Now what happens is you put the tooth bit inside there and then you place it's, it's a bit difficult to explain but I'll do my best and then you put the posi bite you get two dimples on this the dimple size must be up because this is offset it's offset not it's not the center it's offset to the bottom so you place that over there like that you can see make sure the dog bits in there and show you as best I can. 
if you see in the top there you can see what's happening the thing is ready to to bite into the brass so you screw up the allen screw like that and it clamps it together pushes the dog bit into the damaged brass and then you tighten this up with the with the allen key like that so that's now fixed on there fixed now on this you do need to tighten it up quite a bit because there's going to be some pressure needed so I'll give it a good tighten there's no problem it'll be it'll take it get it to really really bite into the brass that's pretty tight now and this head was put in before and it was really tightened this in so we're going to give it a live demonstration of how this works so I'm going to put the tap on here so we can actually operate on it I'm going to put the back nut on to hold the tap in place Okay, that's the tap as it would be on your sink. So the first thing you need to do is get um, the pull spanner and that goes on top of there like that. Just leave that there for now. Then we need the spout sleeve which is this. You get two rubber, soft rubber liners inside to redu for reducing for thinner taps. So you put that on there it's going to be quite loose. So I'll put the first liner in which is this one to reduce the diameter inside you see put that on there still a bit floppy so put the second liner inside the first liner that goes in like that reduces it reduces it right down and these are soft rubber nice soft rubber so they won't damage the the chrome finish on the tap so push that on there that's a lovely fit so that's ready for that part now so next thing you know we need to get the eye bolt out, which is this. And we attach the end of the eye bolt there, the round bit over the end of the spanner. It's got a lobe on the end of the spanner. Put it on there, then put the, if you look on the spout sleeve itself, you can see there's a slot in here. There's a slot there, see? So put that over there, and then put the bolt, screw part of the, of the eye rod into the slot and tie up by finger it just sort of holds itself you feel it tightening right okay that's starting to pull now like I said this was put in before with a pair of grips quite tight to give it a good demonstration so what you do you get the spanner which this you get this in the kit as well put that onto the nut and just turn it like that with your finger Let's see what happens. It's becoming tight, which means it's putting the strain on it now. It's becoming tight, but I'm just using my finger. And you can see it's pulling the spanner towards the spout without any pressure on the tap itself. It's getting quite tight now. So it is tight, that tap head gear is tight. quite satisfying this to do this actually uh, we do get a lot of customers who say they actually like using it it's getting tight now it's getting tight just keep turning it it's starting to loosen a little bit yeah I think it's loosening I think it's done it Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I think that's done it. Oops, I know it took it off for me. I was going to take it off anyway, but um, it took it off for me. By the way, um, make sure you put some, uh, uh, the plug in the plug hole before you do this, so the little bits don't fall down. And put a towel in case anything like that happens and it falls in your sink. You don't want it to damage it. Uh, put a towel inside the sink to pad it out. So let's see now. Yeah, well, that was tight, that was super tight, and it's now pulled it off. So you can tear that off, no washer in this, take this off. This actually won't bin in now because it's scrapping, because it's, it's finished. All you need to do is go out and get some uh, new 
a pair of new new tap headgear inserts. Um, you can buy these separate from your DIY or B and Q or whatever. You can buy these and then just stick that in there, and then you've got a new you've got a new fitting and tap. So that's how it works. The posi bite. If you've damaged your head and you can't get it out, and you've been swearing at it, of course. Um, the posi bite comes in the in the kit which I've just shown you, which is the posi bite kit, and that will sort your problem out. You get three dog bits, by the way, in case you lose some um, spanner clamps. Full instructions show where the clamps there to hold the hexagons in. Should you have a decent hex? And everything's in there, and we can sort of guarantee that will sort your problem out. So that's it. Posibite tap splitter from ABD Tools. And thanks for watching.